Uh, I talked to Peter Byrne, who was involved in the Wineford Stop the Schools Closing campaign. So what have you been up to since then, Peter? Well, what we've done is we've, uh, we've, we're in the protest of forming a commu uh, Wineford Community Council. Uh, we've got a meeting on the 5th of October, 6th of October, isn't 6th it? October. Shakespeare Hall. Uh, so basically the reason we're forming this Community Council right, is because we want to say the proposed regeneration of the Wineford uh, estate. Because we were promised, you know, certain things, you know, during the occupation and our campaign by Mr. Stephen Persusso in particular through the press. What kind of thing? Well, we, 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 I can't imagine, I can't actually quote him, you know, he says that was, but, you know, this is probably on public record. He says he's going to put money back into regen, regenerating the wife specifically, you know, uh, you know, maybe a family centre or a community centre. So he's made specific promises, you know, through the press. So we want to make sure that, that you know, they're going to follow through with this, you know. In, in particular, you know, they're, they're talking about closing a lot of community centres, you know, in Glasgow and stuff like that, you know, but um, when he's made these promises, we might actually make sure that we're going to produce them, you know. So that's why you've set up the group? That's why we've set up uh, the community council. council, yes. So what about the Tesco's thing? Well, uh, what, we've, what we've found out is that uh, Tesco's are supposed to be building a superstore in this area, you know. Uh, in person, my opinion is, you know, I think it might be a good thing, you know, it's going to create jobs, etc. But I hope they're going to call it, you know, like regeneration. You know, because we're at the Big Man 2 as well, they have built a big uh, statue up at the Springfield uh, crossover at Rock Hill, at Lockburn Road. You know, they're building a bridge which is good, it's going to join the two communities, but they're building a big statue top of it, and it's going to cost about three and a half million pounds, you know. I mean, that's cosmetic regeneration. You know, what we're looking for is the schools, you know, family centres, stuff for the kids, you know. So in between the Tesco's, you know, and the, the Big Man 2, there is a suspicion they're going to fog us off and say, well, that's your regeneration, you know. That asking for the kind of things that you're looking for. Correct, yes. Whatever that might be, you know. But certainly it's not artwork, you know, it's not artwork we need. Don't get me wrong, the statue looks going to look great, you know, but we're not looking for artwork. We're looking for real uh, regeneration, you know. What's this statue about? Well, it's called the Big Man, you know, and he's got big cables and he's holding up this bridge, you know. It's going to cost about £3 million, pound, but the school my kids went, it was St Gregory's, and they said the council said three quarters of a million pound, shutting my kids' school. But they've got this £3 million pound right for this big massive statue, you know, and they're going to call it regeneration, you know. It's, a, it's an absolute insult. Let's get it right here, you mean they shut the school to save £3 million? Pound? Well, no, they shut my kids' school, right? I don't know what the total fund is, uh, some stuff for the two schools and all the schools in Glasgow, you know. I think it might have been about £3 million, pound, actually. Or £7 million, pound, I don't know the correct figures, you know. But they can spend £3 they can million spend and build a statue. To build a statue, you know, a piece of art, you know. And they've got a cheek to call regeneration, you know. And they've got planning permission. They've got planning permission, etc. And this is just for people, you know, like commuting in, maybe just tourists, you know. It's going to look good for a distance, but you go into these actual communities. It's going to be like a statue of Rio de Janeiro, you know, a statue of Christ, you know. Aye. But you get people living in, you know, die of poverty, you know. Aye. The strange thing about that statue is Jesus is he's back to the poor people, you know, and he's facing the rich part of Rio de Janeiro, you know what I mean? So it's going to be like that, you know. People are going to be too busy looking at the statue, and they're going to miss the poverty, you know, in the front of It's cosmetic. So I take it they consulted the community about it? Well, they've made an announcement in the Times, you know. But we were so busy, you know, trying to save our schools, you know, it was like a sleight of hand, you know. We didn't see it coming, you know. It's only when you look back you can reflect what was going on, you know. These are very clever people we're dealing with. Colin Morrison, how are you doing? Not bad, how are you? We were involved in the school campaign as well. I'm so a local you? member of the local community and I was going to get stand back and go get involved. So it was great getting involved with it and uh, there was loads of other political groups were involved as well, but the main people that were the movers in it were the local community. So I think it's great that what's coming out of that is those local people who are involved in the schools campaign and now want to get together and fight for the community. So I'm fully behind that and I think it's a great initiative. Now I don't think it's going to be easy by the way, because you say the foggy office stuff, they'll try and run right through this, but we're not stupid. So yep. we get organised and we try and get what we're going to get.